Hey guys, this is uh, Marpat Productions back with another video, formerly Pristine History. And um, yeah, today then we're going to be going out into the, the woods. Uh, pretty much just trying out the um, airsoft loadout and the uh, Marine Corps equipment. And as you can see, I'm still kind of packing it up. Oh, there's the sleeping bag. It's better if they're stomping in. Okay, to start off the uniform, the first thing we have is this uh, uh, Marpat Desert Camouflage trousers. Um, just some, this was for my butterfly knife. But now I just use it as a pistol pouch for ammunition. Um, just a pouch right here for anything. And a belt. And then, oh, this is my. Talker out. Goes with my uh, like a leg pouch. Kind of buckles it out. I not to the boots. Yeah. Well, I just like to take these normal hair ties like this here because I like more of the same pants. I fold it uh, like a one inch fold and then another one inch fold. I usually have to bring it up a little more because these pants are a little bit long on me. So that could actually work. And then you just kind of tuck it under the thing right here. And then make an elastic um, pant. And So it's just usually um, like a double bottom usually, and then tuck in the laces. And I also mount the ends of the thing so they never come in my way. And then I kind of bring the elastic over. So it protects um, from rocks or dust getting inside of my boot. It's all kind of even out. So now I'll do the other boot. Alright, so now both boots. Alright, so uh, here's my uh, backpack. So what I keep in here is my helmet with goggles. Um, under that's my uh, my day pack with all the stuff I need in there. Um, a sleeping bag. Uh, and then here I have extra socks, an extra uh, t-shirt and stuff. Um, and here, then um, a rain jacket and some more fatigues. And here's a poncho. Um, and here I have more MREs and a mess kit, and um, snow shoes, which I'll actually be using instantly right when I go out there today. Um, and there's also a first aid kit in there and stuff, and all the necessities that I need. All right, so now to the plate carrier. So, um. A knife right here, it's kind of on a lanyard, it slips in there. Um, in here, we have a flashlight and field glasses, uh, canteen right here, three magazine pouches, and then 
a compass, a map, um, a speed loader, uh, a Leatherman is also in there, a watch, um, two grenade pouches, uh, more ma three more uh, 30 round mag pouches, or anything could be in there. And a quick release is set up. Here we have an extra lighter, um, a scope, a spotting scope. And that's it. And here we have extra zip ties, rope. Um, yeah. Here's a, uh, this is like a dump pouch for empty mags or half full magazines. That's really all that's on this pouch. Of course, then we have the foam pouches inside, not the non-real Kevlar ones. Hey guys, so we're out here right now. The back here and I got the pack and everything. An M4 right here, ammo crate. I'm just kind of hiking out back here, gonna uh, set up a little camp. All right, so we finally made it to our position. Well, we have a road over on this side. And the, 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 the home is over there. So, Oh yeah, we're going to dig a foxhole right here in the snow. Um, and yeah. Alright, so uh, to dig your foxhole, you're going to want to take your e-tool and measure it out first. So, I'm going to do it off this tree, I guess. So one of these is like, you're going to want to do two of these. So that length. And you're going to do four this way. That's going to be like your width. I'll start marking it out to where I drop that. So we got our line here. Then I'm gonna do four more this way. Kinda like, so, one, two, three, four. All right, so it's gonna come out to here. All right, so as you can see, then, uh, this is the, the foxhole so far. Um, yeah, I kind of, uh, push the edges around and it's filling up with water pretty good so I'm on that go down a little bit before I start digging again and uh, yeah, it's a good time for a break right about now oh a couple more feet down and it should be pretty much done nice all right so um got my winter jacket on now uh, here we got the m4 uh I put, so this is like a battery box, but I put a real, um, actual laser that works on it, see? So that's kind of cool. You got the dust cover and whatever. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna shoot it right now, so. It's getting pretty cold out here as the wind's picking up, so I think I'm gonna uh, make one on my way and then I'll probably head back and fill in this hole. Okay, so here with them we have the MRE. Um, yeah, we have some apple jelly in there and cheese tortellini. Oh. Looks pretty good. I'll make it up right now. Alright, so right here then we have the uh, commercial MRE. Um, yep. You just need to add water to it um, to the do not overfill line. And um, it'll heat up. Right here, we also have our mess tin and a spoon and stuff in case we had any better meals. And um, 
We also have some crackers and a cherry um, pop tart with some apple jelly on the side and a disposable spoon um, and some spices over there. There's also a Tootsie Roll, but I'm not going to eat it. <laughs> Those things are rock hard. All the MRU seating up, I thought I'd also go through my day pack, which has two MREs in it. This is a radio pack here, which uh, is also used for 30 round mags, pocket knife. Um, this is a first aid pouch. Um, inside there you also have some winter gear. And yeah, it's just nice to have extra ammo on you sometimes or uh, anything that you would even want in here. It's really lightweight, so it's amazing for um, adding onto the plate carrier. Leaving the big ruck pack uh, at base. This would be the base, I guess. And boy, I feel my food heating up. These things can actually get really hot and burn you sometimes. <laughs> Got a little bit of water in there, just it's super hot. I decided to put the crackers and stuff just in these big jacket pockets. I'll see it along my day. But right now I'm going to eat this hot meal and it's going to be good. My phone's about to die unfortunately. My phone's about to die unfortunately. But uh, thank you for watching Marpat Productions. I hope you have a nice day.